In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to annotate the station and alignment name of a secondary alignment using drafting notes. In this DGN, I have a baseline alignment shown here, and I also have an edge of pavement alignment. So what I want to do is annotate a point here with the alignment name of this EOP alignment, the station of this EOP alignment, and then I want to also annotate the name of this main line, center line alignment here, and the equivalent station here, as well as the offset between the two. So to do that, I'll go to Drafting, Place Alignment Intersection Note, I'm going to make sure my method is set to offset. And in the plan folder, I'm just going to create a new note. And I will call that secondary name station. I'll click the down arrow to expand this dialog box expand the computed value inserts and geometry. So if this is considered my primary alignment, this will be my secondary alignment. So I want to begin with the alignment name of my secondary alignment. So I'll double click that and place it in the notes section. Next I want to include the station of this secondary alignment. So I will select Station on Secondary Alignment. I'm going to simply type in an equal sign up here, and then I'll move to the next line. And now I want the alignment name of my primary alignment, so I'll double click that, put a space in, and I will add the station on the main line here. Now I can add text in here, such as STA, to identify exactly what it is that we're looking at. And here I'm going to add in the offset, so I'm just going to type in offset, double click the offset value, to include that. I'll click Apply, and I'm prompted down here at the bottom left to identify my first horizontal alignment, so I'm going to select the center line and accept that. I'm now prompted to identify my second horizontal alignment, so I'm going to pick that at the point that I wish to annotate. So I'm just going to annotate right here and accept. I am now prompted to place my note, and you can see that it now says EOP station, and then that station equals the centerline station, and the offset.